Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to R. When I rewrite this equation, I take small p and with the small p, I am going to write it to 1. So that by comparison, the capital P is 1. In the same way, we have plus this minus q is written as minus 1 into small q. So that by comparison, capital Q is minus 1. And on the other side, we have log of x plus y. Now, let's take capital P as 1, capital Q as minus 1, and capital R as log of x plus y. Now to get the solution, we have to solve dx by p equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by r. We are going to substitute the values of p, q and r. So dx by 1, this is dy by minus 1 and this is dz by log of x plus y. Now, from this, we are going to take two terms at a time and we are going to integrate and get the solution. This is already in the variable separable form. We have x on one side, y on other side. So we go for integrating on both the side. This is x, this is minus y and we have a constant c1. So x plus y equal to c1. In the same way, let us take first and last. So we have dx by 1 equal to dz by log of x plus y. We can integrate, but this is in terms of x and y. Already from the this expression, we know the x plus y is c1. So by replacing that, we get integral dx equal to integral dz by log c1. Log c1 is a constant. So this integration will give x equal to 1 by log c1 is a constant which is written as it is. Integral d is it is z. And we have another constant c2. So x minus z by log c1 is our c2. And now by taking LCM it is x into log c1 minus z whole division log c1 equal to c2 and taking this log c1 to the other side we get x into log c1 minus z equal to log c1 into c2 anyway this whole thing is a constant so we take this as v and here the c1 is replaced back as x plus y. So it is x into log of x plus y minus z is our v and x plus y is c1 which is x plus y is equal to u. So from this we can write the general solution and the general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. So from this, we can take f of x plus y comma x log of x plus y minus z equal to 0. This is our required general solution.